So welcome everybody and uh, thanks for tuning in. Here we are again, sitting and uh, looking back at the 25th anniversary year of uh, our band. And uh, spending a little time listening to all the songs we have created in the past. Yes. Mm. And uh, today we're gonna spend a little time to what is probably the first real like, I don't know, like a album that we made like uh, with a bigger plan behind the concept of it. Yes, and probably the album where most people recognize at least, I'd say, a third of the songs these days. Mm -hmm. uh, that's true, because a lot of these songs are actually played. Because this is the album when Sabaton kind of started to get popular outside of Sweden. Yep. Uh, and uh, I don't know if it's true now, but there was some, uh, and I haven't fact-checked it, so it's uh, for anybody else who has the uh, uh, will to do the research of it, but we were told at some point that it was uh, the highest uh, reviewed album in German rock magazine. And it was in the time when Sabaton was still considered an underground, like proper underground metal band. So we were kind of uh, riding that uh, little thing that people thought it was super cool with this band that nobody heard before. Because yep. we were really unknown by then for most people. And uh, our up and coming album that sort of, I think in a way, if you listen to this, this is the start of where you hear where Sabaton is today, not all the way. I guess maybe that's Carlos Rex or Heroes. Mm. But. Uh, you think so? Oh yeah, maybe. Okay, that's interesting. You, you can hear interesting things, but this is, for me, the first Sabaton album where you really recognize us where we are today. For me too, mm. actually. For uh, me the same. I remember hearing this. Obviously. Maybe that. Maybe that's why. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was starting first grade. <laughs> no, but it's for me. It's the that's the first time I heard about Sabaton. Okay. And maybe it's uh, that's one of the reasons why we're still. This is one of those where we play actually quite a lot of songs from. Yeah. Usually. Well, let's um. see. Well, we, we still like, we do Ghost Edition every now and then. Yeah, we play that a Which couple one is of that? times. No, no. Or the War sometimes. Forty to one. Unbreakable rarely. Cliffs of Gallipoli. Yeah, every now and then. Mm -hmm. Panzerkampf every now and then. Talvisota. Talvisota every now and then. Union. Pro Union rarely, mm. but we have. Mm. Price of a Mile. We a played mile. for the whole. Great tour. We, we played yeah. it a lot. A lot. Yeah. And we played Union the entire t tour on in 2017. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And uh, Firestorm. Firestorm. Only once. Th one of the albums where we played all of it. Every song on this album has been played live. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's true. Mm. Firestorm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. I don't think I played no, it. No, but that was before you and me. Before. Uh, yeah. Before yeah. yeah. Snow yeah. Summer 21st. Just a few months before you. Ah, so it was only me. <laughs> So me playing it. Yeah. I have I have never played. Uh, should we play it again? All of it? Yeah. yeah all right. Yeah. Sure. At least we should listen to it. Yeah. And then <laughs> we and then we make the decision if we're gonna play it all. Yeah. I think it's only Unbreakable and Firestorm. Yeah. I I never yeah. played. Oh. This is. You played Unbreakable. Yeah. In 2018. You played Unbreakable. No, it was playback. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny story about this album. Oh, by the way, uh, sorry, I'm taking your job, Chris. No, no, it's fine. You go, girl. No oh, thanks, man. <laughs> but, but Tommy, you're, 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 you still have your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but first, Here's I want to tell you, this album means oh. a lot to me. I will tell you why. Okay, now grab me a beer. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, when this album was released, if you signed a year subscription with this uh, Swedish magazine, uh, Sweden, Sweden Rock magazine, uh, you were supposed to get uh, a T-shirt or this album as a gift. I got the, the magazines, uh, but I never... But I never got the album. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He chose the T-shirt. And I, I said that to. Uh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Fifteen <laughs> years later. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> oh, you it, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Okay. So my oh, job. I need alcohol if I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah but yes. Yeah. Calm down. Um, what do you want? Great Quick band. introduction. Let's grab a beer. Polka. Yeah. Uh, Prips. Is that okay? That's what we have. And as yeah. you guys yeah. mm. clearly Par? could yes. tell, the same. The same. Today's time for the Art of War. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it, Chris. Uh, Amy's a DJ. Put a record on. Uh, yeah, no, no, fucking hell. Uh, I go for the gin again. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I go for Hannes? this one. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you very much. You guys ready? Yes. Let's. You guys ready? 
And we're gonna do it the same way like we, we did before. We listen yeah. to two songs. Two songs. And then we take a little two quick songs. break to yeah. reflect on it. Perfect. Yeah. Because there's four Perfect. songs here. But here is. There might be an intro, so maybe there's an intro and two songs. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Then true. stop yeah. after the first two songs. Yeah. Yeah. Real songs. Sun Tzu said, the art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Your voice has gotten so much, you know, more defined yeah. for this album. That was my first yeah, from the thought previous ones. If you know oh, the enemy, from know yourself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Metalizer. Yeah. Yeah. The previous one the previous we listened to a while ago. 2001 and this one? 2007 or 8. Right. right. If you know neither oh, the yeah. enemy, eight recording. Yeah. you will succumb yeah. seven years every battle. Yeah. Yeah. I 
like a symbol, you can hear it all with a symbol and it's a nice symbol recording on this album. It really is super defined. Only when I grew up in the rock So this is how the long way flow. Who who mastered it? Mixed by Peter. No, uh, mixed. Recorded by Tom. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, the is all right. that's left after the fight and now I'm searching a new way to defeat my enemy bloodshed I've seen enough of death and pain I will run, they will hunt me in vain, I will hide they'll be searching I will group, they retreat they will soon coup de glass I will win but never fight that's the art of war I love the ride. Yes, I have it all the same. That's a pretty good start of an album. No, that's a good start. Yeah. Yeah. I was wow. about to say the same, actually. Exactly the same. <laughs> it's uh, mm. two fantastic songs. Yeah. And uh, now I miss to play them both live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a long time ago since we played Art of War. Wow. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, it's a long time we have it in regular rotation. We might yeah. have thrown it in on a cruise or, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 stuff like that. But it's a long, long time ago since we had it in rotation. Yeah, yeah. it's one of my, my favorite songs to play. Mm. Yeah, always love, has, it. Always has love it also. Mm. Damn, we need to play that more often. That was good. Yep. Yep. Cool. And uh, interesting, both opening songs have keyboard solos. Hmm. That's true. We don't ah. have too many ah. songs with Not keyboard anymore. solos anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. But uh, I interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. And since this so uh, this album was written in that way as well, like yeah, yeah, yeah so, so like it that. was like okay, so we knew from the beginning that there's gonna be two keyboard solos in the beginning of the album. Mm. Interesting. I don't think we thought about it actually. No, actually. no, it just it just happened. It just happened. <laughs> but the whole thing is obviously being the album being called the Art of War. It's based upon the book of mm. Sun Tzu old military manual and uh, so how, how every song re re corresponds to each chapter in the book but, but how okay. and how did you get into that did you get recommended or you read the book yeah you read the book and then aha uh -huh, this is what i would like to write about yeah you i came across it i don't remember exactly how but it's not a long manual you know mm. I th i'd say anyone could read it w within a couple of hours mm. Mm -hmm in a single day if uh, if you don't start too late yeah and um, so can you explain what it is to people that don't know it maybe most people do know it. old ancient chinese military manual and uh, written by sun tzu sun tzu i don't know how it's different uh, he has different names depending on the source sort of mm. okay but we're talking before christ here oh, oh. chinese general and uh, really talks about ancient warfare and in these times let's not you know beat up around the bush this is a promotion piece from him to write this book this military manual is his way of promoting himself himself to other <coughs> possible uh, employers employers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. but it's a lot of those teachings I recommend anyone who has a couple of hours spare to spare to read it because it's highly interesting and um, it's used even today uh, in even a, in, in business schools yeah in business schools and I, I would imagine that very few uh, <laughs> military academies uh, <laughs> would uh, not have it yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, and uh, some of it is uh, well a lot of it is used today I mean we kind of took that because it's written uh, for uh, for yeah before Christ and uh, it's um, but we kind of tuned the songs into World War two and earlier and around there a little bit and we tried to find more let's say 20 is World War one as well yeah 20th century warfare where the art of war manual was used That's or kind of where where the whatever that chapter was relevant yeah yeah so and sometimes it's generally the song "Art yeah. of War," for example. It's about the the, the winning without having to fight, you know. Mm. Yep. And uh, that one it's is a good plan. Mm. It's, it's the best plan, the fucking best plan yeah, there is. But that's what the chapter is about: yeah. to be well prepared. Yep. Mm. And uh, uh, and Ghost Division is about the importance of speed in warfare. Mm. So yeah. what better example in modern warfare than Blitzkrieg? Yep. Yep. And these examples are there. So even if you're not super into military history, if you want to understand this album as a Sabaton fan, yes, give it a few hours. I guess most people will plow through it in four or five hours. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Or you could just write the best joke ever, like in Monty Python, and you win the war. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is true. That's uh, chapter 14. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bonus track. Yeah, it's the bonus track. That's you track listen track to it and you die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, 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 how was the joke? Can't remember. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, more songs. It was a good start. Yeah. It was a good start. So now we go forty to one and unbreakable. Oh, yeah. And unbreakable. Oof. It's a. It's yep. Let's uh, go. You still want? Fucking hell! You you yeah. want this? Yeah. Let's go. That's cool. Okay. Let's see here. You can do it, man. Uh, see if this goes right down there. Sometimes. Right on. So silent, 
Holding out baits, he keeps him on the march. Then, with a body of picked men, he lies in wait for him. It's under crimson skies, hell's horizon. Our trap will spring unaware of a person so we march and straight to the doom. You can also hear the, the dynamics of an album taking form in a different way also than people. Yeah, but it's more like more metalized. We are prepared for more like war, ready for fire, stand by to charge, counting down as they march into destruction. Their time has come. They'll never know we now. give no so warning. Yeah. And especially in white. We set a trap 
Who made them kind of you It's a long one. It's yeah. like a long song, and it's re like restarting two times. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, it's a commercial uh, nightmare to do something like that, <laughs> but it's an absolutely one of my favorite songs mm. ever in Sabaton history. This song to play live and to listen to. Mm. Why? I just 
I mean, I, uh, the, the thing, I mean, before there was a text lyrics or anything written for it. We were practicing this and I mean, I remember how everybody was standing headbanging forever to this uh, verse, uh, verse uh, on the slow part and we didn't even have any words. We just played the riff like for hours, <laughs> basically yeah. in the rehearsal, like <laughs> and headbanging like ah, yeah. ah cool. And uh, uh, long before there, there was because the the lyrics were written while we were in the studio, I think, for this one or very late. Very late. I, I think the whole thing was put together very late. The the slow part was we had it very long time. The slow part we had already, but I wrote the fast part. Just up at the studio, we fin finalized the lyrics in the studio. Yeah, hmm. finalized. And and we we never practiced the fast part. I think we never played that one before we went into the studio. No. Nope. But the slow part we played a lot of times. Uh, like only. I think it was written so yeah. late there wasn't time for Richard and Oscar to learn it. Mm. So I played the um, mm. what do you call it guide guitar mm. for Daniel the drummer Mulbach. Mm. Mm. Just mm. this is the way the song goes, and I sang into a microphone and played guitar to his drumming, and yeah. he learned it, recorded mm. it, and then Richard and Oscar then mm. later did it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah nice. And you re really felt that this song needs this part? Not really, no. <laughs> but <laughs> it just turned out. To <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it mm. the all parts of the song is really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all they could have been several songs. It could have been two songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's. Just and and if they were two songs, maybe they both have would have been become more popular. I agree. They might have been more commercially successful, but I think they would have been worse. Mm. Maybe. And sometimes heavy metal doesn't make any fucking sense. No, yeah. it is what it is. And uh, unfortunately, but everybody who's watching this, you have to listen to this song a little bit more because this is a really good song. Yep. True. <laughs> one, so of the, one of the underrated ones. For yeah, sure. definitely. Yeah. And also a fun thing about this song when we played it in uh, uh, Rockstad Falun or Sabaton Omer, Omer. I can't really remember what it was. But as a huge Iron Maiden fan, the oh solo. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh that's yeah. Why, yeah. That's why I remembered Iron yeah. Maiden, right? Uh, yeah. It's not. Uh, yeah. It's not uh, right now. I know. Uh, because the the, the 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 chords during the solo on this one. It's the exact same on the number of the beast. So I was like, I'm gonna play Adrian solo on this one live just for a, a tease. You yeah, know? didn't you do that in uh, 2018? Like yeah, Black yeah. Die Young. Oh yeah, yeah, it's true, true. Yeah. So actually, I, I played Adrian solo on number of the beast on this one on Sabaton Open Air. So if you Google this shit, you can actually see it. Yeah, it's actually fun. It's a fun, fun little thing. Yeah. Alrighty, move yeah. on. Yeah. So uh, move along, move along. The next one. Yeah. If Sorry if you're wondering why I sound weird. We've been rehearsing today quite a lot and I yeah. sort of lost my voice. It's been a while since I sang <coughs> last time yep. and I've lost it. Well, I talk too much anyway. So. Yep. Okay, oh, let's do this. What are we listening to? Yeah, which oh. song comes next? <coughs> Nature of Warfare. Very good pair. And after that? Cliffs. And after Nature that? Nature of Warfare, Cliffs of Gallipoli and then what? Talvisota. Yes. Yes. Nice. Very yeah. good. Here we go. <laughs> so those three then? Yep. They are still very hungry. <laughs> 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 very hungry. <laughs> very hungry. <laughs> Aha! Of course. Aha! Mm -hmm. Tommy. The man. The man. This is a fridge Just that refills there. itself, by the way. It's a fridge that never go empty. Yep. Exactly. Best fridge in the world. Yep. No? You want? No. Yep. You? I'm uh, uh, still huh? Thank you. Can we get a shot? Mm -hmm. Water yeah. shapes its course according to the nature of the ground over which it flows. Scary. This is great. The That's soldier like the works out his victory in relation meal. to the foe whom he is facing. Who wrote that? Mm -hmm. Therefore, just as water retains no constant shape, in warfare there are no constant conditions. You, if you release this in the 80s, people see it. You know, dark room playing this. They'll fucking freak out. Mm -hmm. Scary shit. 
good song. Mm -hmm. I love the piano. Playing keys on the next album. I will do my best. <laughs> there are roads which must not be followed. <laughs> Armies which must not be attacked, <coughs> towns which must not be besieged, positions which must not be contested. That's also pretty good for Baba. He's a bad guy. Maybe it's sad. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We played that one on the Swedish tour, right? Salvesota. <coughs> no. Did no. The cruise, for sure. We played it on the cruise. Mm. Not, not on the oh. Swedish tour. Um, we played it on the l last shows in Finland. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah. We were oh. rotating with. No, we didn't. We played three Soldier Three Army. Soldier Three Army ah. on the last tour. But before that, we played oh, yeah. Salvesota. And before that, White Death. So we rotate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <coughs> mm -hmm. It's the thing when, you know, we have. Several songs about luxury problem, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Same with we're playing in Finland. We gotta play at least Talvisota, Soldier of the Armies, or White Death. Mm. In Poland, it's Winged Sars, Uprising, or Forty One. Mm. Mm. Funny story about these two last songs, though. Cliffs of Gallipoli and uh, Talvisota. I remember one, not the first, could be our first, but I think it's our second show in Havastia in Helsinki. Which doesn't exist anymore. Mm. No, mm. by the way, that's a shame. It was a lovely venue. Yeah, mm. yeah. One of the best local techs as well for sound. Wow, 
the yeah. crew who worked there. I think it doesn't exist anymore, right? They took it down. No. Well, if they did, it's a shame because it was one of the most professional mm -hmm. crews in North yeah. Northern Europe yeah. who ran that venue. Mm -hmm. But um, I remember we were playing, especially for the song Cliffs of Gallipoli and this song. Mm. I remember there was this one guy, super drunk, <laughs> n n front row or second row, who looked a lot like Thomas mm. from Nightwish. Mm -hmm. Probably was him. <laughs> it, was it was him. No. Yes. yes. No. And I, for real. And you know, we, I, just, I just pointed, I remember showing Pat, look, mm. he looks like Thomas. And he's like, yeah, he does. And we didn't think about it anymore. Huh. And um, he was headbanging, singing along. And after the show, we met our friend Timo, huh. mm -hmm. taking a lot of pictures with us, uh, been with us. Also writes for the writing for the Sabaton magazine, the camouflage. Um, yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> hey, did you see the guy who looked like Thomas from Nightwish? <laughs> yeah, that was Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, <laughs> the man. <laughs> so uh, does yeah. he want to come in and say hi? No, no, no. He's, he's You're already he's left. Uh, yeah. Yeah, already, <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> already home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, that's funny. So he was there. Yeah, he was a good, good time. So I mean. It was pretty interesting, and uh, I mean, some some more about this, uh, like how Cliffs of Gallipoli. It's one of the songs that you worked on longest, I think. Uh, but at that time, yes. yeah, at that time, and uh, uh, certainly Bismarck and Christmas Truths are up there. True, mm. uh, but uh, in order to continue with the band, we and possibly beaten, all of them might be beaten by a track coming on our next album. Mm. Ah, Oish. yes, I know which one. In 2035. Uh, How did you know? It'd be the longest <laughs> wait. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but during the Cliffs of Gallipoli, I mean, uh, during this time when we were recording and making this album, you and me were in school. We had to kind of, in order to not uh, to be able to play, we had to take student loans to go to school to be able to continue the band. And uh, so we had to borrow money from the government which was thankfully we had an opportunity to do that at that time and do c some kind of music studying while working on Sabaton. Yeah. yeah they actually allowed us to go on tour we just had to write a diary and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's, a, it's an amazing thing. Yeah it was a su super cool thing. To be fair we paid back our student loans. Yeah yeah of course we had to pay yeah. it back but <laughs> 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 No more beer for that guy. Yeah. <laughs> what are you drinking, dude? Uh, Give me some. Uh, yeah, I want what he's having. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that kind of helped. I mean, I don't know what it would have happened if we couldn't have that, because it's a time when I was absolutely no chance I could have a normal job because no. the band was taking too much time and we really needed <coughs> to step up. And I think that you could hear this because we were we had nothing else. You and me, we had nothing else. We did only Sabaton. Yes. Yeah, mm. it, it was uh, everything else was gone, and you can hear it on the album that this was like, it's a it's First a step time we up. Had total time to focus. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, um, you can hear it clearly. From on uh, Prima yeah. Victoria and Ater Dominatus to this, that's a huge step. Mm. It is. Uh, I gotta say though, a part of this is some of the reason why a lot of you guys out there fans and friends and family are asking how how come there are so many good metal bands from Scandinavia the system allows it um, if you go to venues I'm not slagging United States or the UK here but if you're a young starting band and you play in United States or United Kingdom you are not gonna be as well treated by the local venue uh, as you are in Scandinavia. I mean, no comparison here. There are things that are great about a lot of countries, most countries we've been to actually. And um, some things are worse in some places, some things are better in other places. Mm. But starting as a band in Scandinavia, Sweden, Finland, <laughs> especially. Thankful environment. Mm. Yes. Mm. Um, I think the whole possibility of these art schools where you could sure we had student loans like other people did but education is still free mm. you're not paying for that education and uh, the amount of stipend you 
could get out of the as a young man. It was never a question that if you would have a dressing room, a meal, or a shower. No. Mm. You could always borrow PA systems and... If you are a young band rehearsing, there's a... Get help with the... Exactly. Where you could get pay help with a, a small amount and there would be a drum set yeah. and a PA system and, and amplifiers. Yeah. So you could bring guitars and cables and pedals and go mm. rehearse. Mm. Yeah. That helps a lot. That, uh, that helps a lot. If it wasn't for that, I would not have uh, no. been able to do it either. That's one of the biggest <coughs> reasons for so many good bands. Because I think yeah, in I'm most sure. countries, there are so peop many people who are passionate about heavy metal and want to make it. Yeah. But imagine if you grew up in a country where your government isn't going to help you pay for this. I How much bigger of a stepping stone is that? How many possible great musicians are they losing? Yeah, a lot. I think I think it's also a, a way to to catch the people that are not interested or kids then that are not interested in the other stuff, soccer, ice hockey in our country. I was never interested in that kind of stuff. I was interested in music. Okay, we catch this kid. What would I have done if it wasn't for that? Probably no uh, good. <coughs> yeah. I think ice hockey is hard in Kenya as well. Yes, I think so too. So then heavy Maybe metal drums is better. Maybe they play metal in Kenya. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Or Botswana. I've seen a yeah. wonderful Botswana. documentary yeah. about heavy metal. In it's amazing. Oh, Check shit. it out. Yeah. I want to go to Botswana and play heavy metal. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing that. yeah. yeah. So, should we listen? Right, moving. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's yeah. move on. All right. From Botswana to, uh -huh. from Botswana <laughs> to Panzerkampf. Yeah. So the fields of Prokhorovka. Yes. And Union. Oh, this is no, be. I think... Oh, that's the next side, right. Okay, so we'll only do one now, then. We do ah. Panzerkampf, and then... Uh, we switch sides. And then Chris is gonna be doing magic. Mm. He's gonna switch you. side. Into the motherland, the German army march!
Uh, yeah, that's right. Dang, dang. In the, at the end. Also, a very, very cool song. What is it called? Very heavy. No. Syncope in English. You're switching this, Chris. Syncope, it's not oh, syncope. Ah, oh, sorry. Dang, dang. I was trying to remove oh. that one. <laughs> Actually, a late bloomer as well, this one. Yeah. Um, it was... <laughs> Actually, I think this one became more popular like five or six years after the album was released than when it came out. Yes. Because we became larger in other territories and other places really took to this song. While yep. this was not a, a favorite at all. Uh, or something. We would play it live, but it wasn't, you know, I mean, it wasn't requested heavily by our fans, so we stopped playing it. But then we stopped playing it, and, you know, a couple of years later, and we went to, like, Serbia. And they're like, you better fucking play Panzerkampf. Like, uh, I guess we could, but you really guys want that? And I mean, this is before social media was, I mean, it existed, but before you would connect with people and have the same tools you have. It's like, mm. okay. Still one of the most popular songs in, uh, for example, United States. So it's like, uh, and uh, it's the second most popular song on the record. Mm. Uh, streaming. Yeah, mm. from streaming data, and, yeah. Uh, and uh, from streaming data, that's true. Um, well, actually, mostly from YouTube, right? No, or, or Spotify is uh, also uh, second most hmm. uh, okay. after, obviously, Ghost Edition. Wow, so more than Art of War itself. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. A yeah. late bloomer then, yeah. Because hmm. yeah. when we released this album, it was Ghost Edition. Cliffs. Cliffs. Cliffs was our first single. Hmm. Cliffs was the first single that ever reached gold. The one and yeah, it's it our, our first, first gold, gold album. Cliffs of Gallipoli. Mm -hmm. Yeah, single. And 41 and Auto War were the most popular ones, for sure. Mm. Yep. Yeah, 41 was the one exploding. Yeah. Really. Uh. So now it's time for Union, right? Yep. Yes. Oh. Union, break, and then we do the two last ones. Or do we get how many? Four left. We have, we have uh, Union, Price. Eins, zwei, Yeah. Well, a secret, I would say, is. Uh, mm. I, it's a secret. It's, it's a secret. secret. So yeah. let's not play it. Because it, it is a secret. A secret yeah. Anymore. Is it Let's do the three songs that is left. All of them? Yeah. All right. Let's do sure. It. All right. Yeah. Let's Perfect. go through uh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> let's go through they hell. They're that bad? <laughs> no, they are fantastic. <laughs> I am. That's the thing. Yeah. Let's just I actually think the upcoming, upcoming song we actually do better live today mm. than it turned out on the album. Still a good song. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Regard your soldiers as your children, and they will follow you into the deepest valleys. Look upon them as your own beloved sons, and they will stand by you even unto death.
man, you sound really good when I you're up there. Yeah, Fuck and I, was, I was there when he did that in yeah. Amsterdam. I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> because it was one of those times when <laughs> I was your pressing the ring. Yeah. Mm. Once there is no escape, uh, it sounds really good. And they really good. Yeah, really good. Death to flight. More of that. Yeah. You want to go home? Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to walk home, boy? At least. This is like a long time ride for miles, man. Also one of my favorites. Okay. One of my favorites too. Okay. My, yeah. Mine too. But maybe one of my more favorites. Well. It feels like it's more <laughs> the my favorite. <laughs> the most my favorite. I was just said it first. Yeah. My favorite of all time. This is the best one in the world. Here you also have a different bass song than the other song. Okay. Yeah.
Kate Elspeth. This song exists due to people's fear. People's fear. <laughs> yeah. Actually, hmm. the song or the lyrics? The song. Yeah, it's okay. Hmm. I don't remember. I remember, but now first a real, a real banger. Yeah. I love to play this live. Yeah. But a kingdom that has once been destroyed can never come again into being, nor can the dead ever be brought back to life. Secret. Well, no, 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 it's Hostile a secret. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Anybody uh, that uh, well, we can stop there because everything mm. we've heard so far is yeah. uh, fucking awesome. Yeah. I have to say. And uh, it's an album. Well done, Joachim. Yeah. Thank that you. was Very a pretty good. damn fucking good album. I mean, the previous ones that we uh, did was good, but this was outstanding. Yeah. I yeah. think it's the first good. Previously, we had a good song here or there, or a couple of good songs. Mm. This is the first good Sabaton album. Mm. Mm. It's damn good. Yeah. And uh, uh, it, it's so cool. But uh, yeah, I would say, so this is people's beer. It's uh, not as strong as uh, the... Strong beer. Strong beer. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> the regular beer that people yeah. drink. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> when we were recording in the beginning, we were drinking a lot. But we were back in those days. In but uh, <laughs> these beers, they are not that strong, so you can drink a lot of them before you get absolutely wasted. And that's how we could still remain creative and not get shit-faced while in the studio. Mm. And 
I think I'm, if I'm not mistaken, maybe I was, no, I think Price of Mind was written in the studio in the night. Not all of it. But in the morning, Tommy came in and, hey, we need to record a new one. Yes. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and we told Tommy, like, we just finished a new song. No, but you, you convinced me because I had uh, the chorus and the intro and the chorus and some parts, uh, but I didn't have the finished song. Yeah. But the rest of you guys convinced me that we need another song on the album and you need to finish this one. And it was finished during the, that, and then in the morning when... Uh, the yeah, you pretty much gave me a lot of alcohol and you <laughs> took me into the fucking studio <laughs> and locked me in there for five hours until it was done. But I was there with you all yeah. the time and yeah. drinking yeah. beer. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> as, <laughs> as you can see now, we're not drinking as much. <laughs> no. and, and, it, and it turned into a... Uh, still, still, probably, uh. yeah, one of my absolutely top songs of ever. Mm. I still have, uh, you know, when writing songs, you have, uh, what do you call it, uh, pre-productions on your computer. And um, this one. Thousand. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, a great unused part. And I'm still waiting for the, the That song part, yeah. Okay. To it be used in another Because one. there is the, the, the chorus of that one, the lyrics kind of, yeah. exists kind of in another song. Mm. Someday. Yep. Interesting. Because yeah, it's nice. fantastic. And I remember you were trying to use it. Yeah, but it didn't, but it work. didn't work. And you finished the song it's without better it. better it becomes used in yeah. a mm. song where it fits well. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's a very, very nice album. You can, start, you, you can start with the first song and you just go through the whole album like, oh. Yeah, every great, song, every song is dynamics. just, yeah. Pretty diverse as well. Yeah. With yeah. Songs. I mean, cool ending also. Yeah. Yeah. Here is like, okay, so. Here is where Sabaton got the brand that we are a power metal band. On this one? Yeah. What? This is when Sabaton became a power metal band. Yeah, because Firestorm Which is, is the a total. Album <laughs> where we're not power metal anymore. <laughs> I mean, so Ghost yeah. Vision. Yeah, and Firestorm is a very power metal song. 40 to 1. <laughs> Unbreakable. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, Price yeah. of a Mile. Union. Something That's a very powerful <laughs> <laughs> power metal song, yeah. yeah. But that's to be fair, yeah. 40 to 1 is pretty 40 far. to 1, yeah, yeah. Talvis Ota. And Talvis Ota. Mm. And the last one, Firestorm. Uh, Firestorm is not power metal. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's power no, metal. No, it's not no. power yeah, metal. No. Don't no. try to metal. steal heavy metal. I will uh, heavy officially power. apologize on behalf of Tommy. Yeah. Um, he doesn't metal. know any better. He's young. Yep. He's semi-retarded. Yeah. <laughs> he just turned 12. Hey, hey, I'm not young anymore. No. <laughs> And uh, also, he's not semi-retarded, I apologize. Uh. He's totally fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> but this fully, is... Fully, that, 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 that fully retarded. Never, never, never go fully full retarded. retarded. <laughs> but that is still power metal. <laughs> Very friendly. Oh, no, Firestorm <laughs> isn't. Yes, it is. Uh. And this con discussion is going to continue yeah, after gonna this Keep well. on going. I, yeah. I, need, I need more of these. Should we just sign the album and then... Yeah. We should sign it and say yeah. thank, thank you, you very much. And goodbye to all of you. Yeah. Thank oh, you guys. Thank you so much. Tommy, hope you had a good night. Yep. Hannes, start yes. sir. Oh, let the retard start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Never. yeah, he is. <laughs> let the retard start. Yeah, he is. I well, know who I am. We hope to see you next time. Yep. Uh, I mean, in uh, one month from now, I mean, the next episode that we're going to do this. Mm. And uh, then we're going to listen to the next album. Yeah. And I'm going to pick some more darker clothes because I just, I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, that's coat of arms next time, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You did in this. Which has a lot of interesting stories behind it. Uh, so it's we don't need your. No, no, it's fine. We weren't there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Only get the guys. Yeah. Like you were just there drinking people's beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was there. I was drinking people's beer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is this is where you guys fade out slowly yeah. but surely. Yeah, slowly but surely. Yeah. We yeah. We've had enough clearly. But thank yeah. you so much, guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you, everyone. Thank Cheers. You. See you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>